Hi, my name is Allison Davis, and I am going to go through an essential oils introduction class with you here today. Uh, this is the kind of class I would teach in my house. If you were to come over and ask me, well, what are essential oils and how can I use them and why are they such a great thing? These are the kind of things I would tell you. Okay, so we're going to start with Young Living's starter kit. This is the basic starter kit. Um, I'll open it here. It's pretty beautiful packaging. It looks like that. And then that's a lot of little magnetic closure there. And there's our oils. So I'm going to set this down here. And the first thing I want to do is tell is I want to read, I just have this little sheet of paper. I always hand these out in my class. And these are in my group too on Facebook. I have a Facebook group uh, where we talk all the time about oils and health, natural health. So um, there's a little paragraph here about what are essential oils. And I want to read this to you. Essential oils known as nature's living energy are the natural aromatic volatile liquids found in shrubs, flowers, trees, roots, bushes, and seeds. The distinctive components in essential oils defend plants against insects, environmental conditions, and disease. They are also vital for a plant to grow, live, evolve, and adapt to its surroundings. Essential oils are extracted from aromatic plant sources via steam distillation and are highly concentrated and far more potent than dry herbs. So let me tell you a little bit about me. I am married, been married for 20 years. I have five children, we have five children, and they are ages 18 down to six. I have been using essential oils with my family and for me for the last six years, this is starting in 2010, about January 2010. Um, it, I have just seen amazing results with our health and essential oils and good food and um, other components of natural health, but essential oils are really my go-to for most things these days. Um, and you will learn more about what you will use essential oils for, but in general, that's been my experience. So I was using them for about four years, and then finally I thought, gosh, I, I would love to teach classes about this because I like to teach classes. I'm a homeschool mom, so I guess that kind of goes, goes along with that. Um, but I've always had sort of a, a teacher, I don't know, heart, I guess. So anyway, essential oils have just been a significant addition to our house, our arsenal for good health. And so let's move on. All right, so here's the product guide. This comes with the starter kit when you order it. And it's, it's very nice. It's beautiful. It's got lots of nice pictures. But I want to just um, point out a few things that they talk about in here. Let's see. One of the most important things to know about Young Living and, and why Young Living. I, I don't know about you. I know when I first went to my class, I didn't know a thing about essential oils. I had never looked at really any other oils from any other company. And so I'm really excited that I started with Young Living. That was my first experience because it turns out that they are really the leader. Um, Gary Young, who started Young Living, is, is the father of essential oils today. He is, I think, around 70, and he has spent his whole life researching them, um, traveling all over the world, finding plants, distilling them, and, um, and he, he started out as a naturopath doctor, so um, that's sort of his where he comes from. I've been to several of the farms in Utah and Idaho, and they are something to behold. I mean, we are talking plants that are grown on virgin soil, soil that has never had um, herbicides, pesticides, anything like that. Um, so just the, the most organic, they call it beyond organic, and it really is. Um, but one of the things they talk about is seed to seal that's really um, so important for young living. And the point of that is from the seed that goes into the ground that is organic, that is just the best of the best, through the cultivation to the distillation process, the testing process in their lab and third-party labs outside of young living, and then the seal, the bottling process, 
every little bit is just done to exacting standards. And when I went several times to visit um, the farms and, and where they distill and, and bottle and everything, it's, it's a pretty incredible experience to do that. I hope that uh, you all get to do that someday if, if that is something you're interested in. But let's see, so that they talk about that in, in here, that seed to seal and just how important it is. Young Living is a 21 year old company right now, so they've been around a long time. Um, they're a billion dollar company. So, you know, it's sort of like, uh, it must work. <laughs> you know? So if they're a billion dollar company. Um, there, are, there are farms around the world, see, around the globe. There's some right there. There is St. Uh, Mary's in Idaho, I went to that one. There is one in Croatia, one in France. Uh, the Melissa is in Idaho, Helichrysum in Croatia, Lavender in France. Uh, there's in Naples, Idaho, and then Ecuador and Oman. That's where frankincense comes from. Here's a beautiful, look at those lavender fields. There's some of the other farms right there. So Young Living owns these farms. So they have complete control, and they're really one of the only, I think the only essential oil company that owns their own farms. That's a big deal. You wanna know, when you're gonna use essential oils to maintain health and to support good health, you want to know where they're coming from. You want to know that the company knows where they're coming from and knows exactly what's going on with the soil, what's going on with how they're growing it, how they're distilling it, when the best time to do it is. It is an art, let me tell you. Um, so another thing about Young Living is here are sort of the different areas of your life that, that you can uh, affect. Of course, there's the essential oils and there's um, hundreds of oils that are singles, like lavender, peppermint, you know, that's a single oil, it's a single plant, or blends, and they're just different blends for different purposes. Um, there's also what they call at home, this at home right here. Those are just all like they're chemical free products. So we need for, to have health to, and to pursue natural health. You've got to go chemical free. When you look at our world, there are chemicals in everything. It's just shocking what we put on our skin, our makeup, our hair, um, in our houses, what we clean our clothes with, our dishes with perfume, um, toothpaste, mouthwash, lotion, you know, just everything. You start looking at what you're putting on your body and in your body, and it is astounding what, we, what we're doing. So it really becomes something you have to um, pay attention to and read labels. But their, their home products like laundry soap and dish soap and shampoo and toothpaste and mouthwash and I mean the list goes on there are a lot are all chemical free and they're all infused with essential oils so that's wonderful healthy and fit they have vitamins and supplements I take a lot of those and then personal care right there that's going to be shaving cream and like I said shampoo and things like that so they have a lot. It's not just essential oils, but essential oils are really where we all start. And then little by little, it's like, oh, I could try that. Oh, I could try that. So um, now, how do we use essential oils? There's three ways. Aromatically, we smell, we inhale out of the bottle. I'll show you how in a minute. Uh, topically, put it on our skin. Or internally, we can put it under our tongue, drop a drop under our tongue. We can put oils in a capsule and take them as capsules. Some of the supplements are oils in capsules that they've already put together, or you can make your own. It's really simple, it's, it's not a big deal. So those are the ways we use them. We can, and inhaling also would include diffusing. You can see the diffuser back behind me. That comes with this essential oil kit. There are actually a choice of dis diffusers, but that's one of them. I really like that one because you can use tap water with it. Some of the others you want to use filtered water, but that one's nice. I actually keep one of those in my bathroom, and so it's real easy to fill up at the sink. All right, what else is important? Lots of things. Okay, now I'm going to show you a few of the oils. We're going to start with lavender and I'm just going to show you a couple but I want to show you how to uh, smell it 
and just a few things about it. So this is lavender, right? These are five mil bottles and um, they're about 100, um, well, about 90 drops, 90 to 100 drops in there. It doesn't take much. So you're just gonna take that and you're gonna just drop a drop on your hand. Oh. And rub it clockwise. Put it up to your nose and take a big deep breath. And that's pretty much it. And when we have a class, we will pass all these oils around. Did you see that blister on my finger? I just burned my finger on a curling iron. I think I'll put a little dab of that on there um, just for fun. Um, mm, that smells so good. Okay, so we take these oils and we pass them around the room to, to the people that are sitting there. And you just put a drop, you do your hands in a clockwise motion. And they say that because the DNA is wound clockwise and that activates the oil. So it's one thing to just, I mean, you can definitely smell it. The moment you take the lid off of an oil, you can smell it because those molecules are jumping up. But dropping it in your hand and activating it, sometimes it's just a little more. You can smell it a little more. So lavender, and then we look at our, our sheet here, and we just talk about, you know, what, what's lavender good for? Supports seasonal discomforts and everyday skin issues. Calms a stressed mind or body, definitely, and promotes restful sleep. A lot of people will put uh, their diffuser by their bedside, I do this, and they'll put lavender in the diffuser at night and, and smell that at night, and it really does promote restful sleep and calm a stressed, a stressed mind, definitely. Um, seasonal discomforts, I will put a drop under my tongue and it doesn't taste great, <laughs> but if you've got seasonal discomforts, maybe it's worth it. And everyday skin issues, so those, that comprises lots of things. So that's lavender, so we just pass that around, smell it, talk about it. Usually there's people there that have use the oils for a little while or, or um, a long while or maybe not at all. So everybody just has fun and um, talks about what they know about it. Uh, let's see, what's another one I wanna, let's do frankincense. Frankincense is wonderful. There's frankincense, can you see that? That's a little out of focus. So we open that and again, I'm gonna take a drop clockwise. Mmm, frankincense is wonderful. Oh my goodness. There's a saying that uh, if in doubt, use frankincense. <laughs> so, you know, research frankincense. Get on Google. Google it. You will find so much interesting stuff about frankincense and, and all of these oils, but that's certainly good. What does it say here? Calming and uplifting increases spiritual awareness, promotes healthy cellular growth, supports healthy respiratory function, uh, minimizes visual blemishes, blemishes and adds healthy glow to the face. So lots of things. Let's see, what's another one? RC, that's a favorite. Let me show you that. There's RC. And I'll open that one. Oh, I'm so sorry you're not here with me to smell these. Let me smell. Mmm, that'll clear you up. Oh, that smells so good. Okay, so RC. Apply to the chest, neck, and throat as needed. Uh, three drops on the feet before bedtime, and this will support the respiratory system. Definitely. So I, people love RC. It's a favorite. It didn't used to be in this starter kit, but it is now. So those are all the ones I'm going to go through now. You get the idea. Um, let's see. What else? The, the other thing that comes in this kit, let me show you. you. You lift this thing of oils out of the kit, and then underneath that, you will find two packets of Ningxia Red. I'll tell you about that in just a second. Another bottle of Stress Away, and I, I have to smell this right now. Everybody loves Stress Away. This is a blend that has, oh my goodness. I know I'm just saying, oh my goodness, to all of these, but it's, it's true. <laughs> I'm not making it up. 
Um, Stress Away, I can't remember everything in it, but, but two of the main things are lime and vanilla and some other things too. It's an amazing oil. And we always tell people, keep it in your purse. Use it all the time. There's some samples. There's lavender, peppermint, thieves. Oh, I didn't talk about thieves. Um, all kinds of packets you can give these to people. I think there's about 10 drops in each one. There's some little empty bottles. So those are, there's 10 little bottles. If you wanted to give somebody some oil to try, you could do that. And there's this little roller ball. So that's pretty cool. You can, you can, you, there's one in here with the lid, all right? And you can put these on your oil bottle. So it becomes a roller bottle. So you can, you know, roll it on however you want. That's a really great way to do the oils. And you can buy these, you know, a bunch of these if you want, if you like that. So the Ningxia Red. The Ningxia Red comes in these packets. This is two ounces. And, or you can get it in bottles. I actually buy both because I like to have these in my bedroom where nobody can get to them. And, you know, I have five kids, right? And I like to have the bottles in the refrigerator because it's really good refrigerated. And sometimes we'll even put these in the freezer. So it's like a popsicle almost. But um, you can put oils in your, in your shot like lemon my favorite combination is uh, two drops of lemon two drops of orange and one drop of cinnamon but even just plain and i drink them plain all the time they're great this is for energy and i am telling you what i've been drinking let's see probably for i want to say four years i drank one a day just just sometime in the morning, I would drink one. And I mean, that's four years, that's quite a while. It's, it's made a significant difference in my energy level. Then I came across a um, Facebook challenge in, in a group or an event or something where everybody got enough, ordered enough Ningxia Red for the next month. And the plan was to drink four to six ounces a day spread out so two ounces here then two later and then two later um, and then just see did it make a difference that month and and if so how and that kind of thing well it did and ever since then I've, I've i drink four to usually six ounces a day so it's usually like two ounces right when i get up two ounces right around 11 or noon and if i'm if i'm not gonna get to lunch you know immediately and i just am I hungry or whatever I'll drink one um, and then or just feeling kind of you know a little tired or whatever and then usually mid-afternoon about two or three I'll drink another one so it's a great thing let's see what does it say here about Ningxia Red contains high levels of antioxidants enhances immune system supports cardiovascular system boosts energy and cognitive function supports muscle and joint health aids the digestive system and promotes restful sleep I would agree with all of those things so that is pretty much it for the class. Um, if you are interested in becoming a member of Young Living, there are two ways to do it. You can purchase retail or you can purchase wholesale. I definitely re recommend purchasing wholesale because it's cheaper. It's 24% cheaper. Um, you will need, either way you purchase, you will need someone's number. Now you could, you could call Young Living without someone's number and order something. They would just assign you someone's number, probably, um, well I don't know who they'd assign you, but, but it's nice if you can get someone's number and then that person will be your sponsor or enroller um, and they are really there to help you and to just guide you and to answer your questions and just that kind of thing. So like I have a, a Facebook group and all my members, all my team are in that group. And, um, and so we talk and we support each other and, you know, because walking the path of natural health is, is, you know, it, it requires a little diligence and perseverance and research. And so as easy as I can make this for people, I really want to do because it was probably 25 years ago. Um, now I'm going to tell you my age, but that's okay. I don't care. <laughs> it was probably 25 years ago when I was about 30 that I really first started out on this natural health journey. And I'm, I'm the daughter of a, a surgeon. Um, he's, he's dead now. He died of cancer 10 years ago. 
Um, my mother-in-law is an OBGYN, retired now. My grandfathers, my great-grandfathers, they were doctors. So I really come from a long line of people um, in the health industry. And so it was about when I was 30 that I, I thought, gosh, what am I eating and what am I putting on my body? And I just started thinking about that. So I've been walking this walk for 25 years. And if I can shorten that uh, time frame for anybody, I would love to do that and just, you know, give people my thoughts, my tips, my what's worked for me. And, um, and so that's kind of what I do in my classes and in our groups and that kind of thing. But anyway, if you want to sign up, you just go to youngliving.com. Um, you'll need a number. My number is 1130505, and that'll go in the enroller and sponsor slot. But you need to really use the person's number that has introduced you to Young Living or that um, you think could help you the most or, you know, somebody that you're just, you're in sync with and you like and, um, and that kind of thing. So... I guess if you have any questions, just get a hold of me. I'm sure wherever you found this, there's a way to get a hold of me, and I will do my best to answer them. And I hope this has been helpful and that you can um, use it and share it with people or, or however you want to use it. All right, you guys have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon.